Tonight, the University of Texas honored Harrison Brown, the 19-year-old killed during Monday's brutal attacks. The three surviving victims were also honored during a community gathering on campus. Fox 7's Ashley Paredes was there. She joins us from UT with the latest. Ashley. Mike, Rebecca, a very beautiful ceremony tonight. It was filled with love, emotion, and music. Music, because as we've come to learn, that was what Harrison Brown was most passionate about. Now, it all began tonight with one of his friends playing a song on an acoustic guitar on the steps of the main mall. Several other of Brown's friends shared beautiful memories from growing up together to their freshman year here at UT to his kind spirit. U UT President Greg Fenn has pointed out how close Brown was with his parents, especially with his father who suffers from ALS. Fenvis explained how Brown was involved with charities that help with ALS research, even volunteering and participating last year in a walk to defeat ALS. At the end of the walk, we're told Brown and his brother carried their dad through the finish line. The ceremony came to a close with the song I'll Be by Ed McCain and students putting up their horns in solidarity. I thought it was very fitting, the music, um, especially the last one, because um, a lot of us, I mean, after on Monday, we're just on social media, like trying to like process what was going on. And um, the video that kept on popping up was the one that Al Hadrina mentioned, the one of Harrison Cini and I'll be in like, his cover in his yeah, um, dorm room, just like, in his dorm room, yeah. It was just like, I don't know. I feel like if there was one song to describe him, that was the one. As each day passes, we continue to learn more and more about what happened on Monday. But court documents obtained today by Fox 7 reveal shocking testimony from the suspect. This is the man police say is behind Monday's brutal stabbing spree on the UT campus. But in an interview shortly after with police, Kendrick's Jermaine White says he doesn't remember the attack, which doesn't come as a surprise to Karen Reynas from the National Alliance on Mental Illness. You have to realize that when someone's having a psychotic break, essentially their brain is on fire. I mean, nothing. The behavior that you will see can sometimes be frightening or irrational or not make sense because literally their brain is not functioning the way it should be. So did it surprise me to hear that he had no recollection of it? Not really. Austin police say White had recently been committed to a mental health facility in another city. But Reynas points out that most people with mental illness are not violent. We only see violence in three to five percent of cases of people living with mental illness. And these are usually individuals who are living with serious mental illness. And oftentimes what we're seeing is untreated psychosis, which may be very well what we're seeing in this particular case. White has been charged with first degree murder, with more charges expected to come. Police say the 21 year old UT student calmly walked around campus near Gregory Gym and stabbed four people, killing UT freshman Harrison Brown. Once arrested, White was read his Miranda rights and interviewed by Austin police. When asked if he knew why he was there, he said, quote, Yes, accusations of pushing someone down and I think using a bladed weapon. Police also asked if he was hearing voices in his head. White said his mind told him to, quote, tell the truth and withhold any action that he did because it really didn't happen. White said that it was possible he used a knife in a manner to hit someone, but he did not remember. The interview came to an end when White said, quote, If I did something I don't remember, then I want to be told. This tragedy has brought a lot of grief and sadness to the university. The Counseling and Mental Health Center says as a result, they're seeing an increase in people seeking support. In times like this, uh, it is so important to talk to somebody if you're feeling uh, upset or having difficulty managing the emotions that come up around this. And coming and talking to a counselor doesn't mean you're sick. It doesn't mean you have a, a mental illness. Um, sometimes we just need to talk to somebody. Again, the Counseling and Mental Health Center has extended hours again tomorrow, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. They also have a crisis line, that number 512-471-2255. Back to you in studio. Okay, Ashley Paredes live from the UT campus tonight.